Hi, this is Shane and welcome to a brand new series on my channel, the Witch of Windenburg Circe Challenge. It is a very short challenge. It's just um, for one, one generation, not even the entire generation. And um, it's based on the book Circe by Madeline Miller. And it's, um, it takes lots of things from the um, realm of magic pack i believe it was written it was written by um roxy from under the plumbob.com and i believe she wrote it before realm of magic came out so then she updated it for certain things and i haven't really played realm of magic so this is a good way to get used to some of the things in it and um but basically this is carrie she is our witch and this is her brother Matt here on the computer. We have her mum Audrey downstairs and her dad Caden. Where's Caden? There he is. And we've missed out somebody, Yasmin, her little sister. So she's got two siblings. Yeah, she's got two siblings. She lives with her mum and dad and has, is that Dora the Explorer? No, it's my Sims. Wow. <laughs> that just got me for a second. And um, they're living in Glimmerbrook. I, did, I was going to put them in Windenburg because, you know, the Witch of Windenburg. But then I thought, no, it's just easier to start in Glimmerbrook and send them to the portal and stuff. And um, it's very... The challenge is very specific. You have three chapters. Um, in chapter one... You're a teenager. That's where you start, and you make your 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 sim a spellcaster, which I didn't do because um, Caden, I he was a spare left over from one of my earlier playthroughs, and I really liked him, so I thought I need some kids from him. So I made a family around him, and then after I've made Carrie, I realised well actually if she's going to be a spellcaster. I can't make her one if she's going to use his genetics. So we made her, or I made her, and then we're going to go through the portal and get to be a spellcaster that way, rather than going through genetics in the um, in Creator Sim. And her aspiration, it can be freelance botanist, outdoor enthusiast, or purveyor of potions. I made her purveyor of potions. Her traits, loves outdoors, loner and erratic. Of course, she's a teen, so she can't get all of them. So at the moment, I believe she has Loves Outdoors and Erratic. Nope, that's Yasmin. I was about to say, why? where have her traits gone? Yeah, she's got Loves Outdoors and Erratic. She's got Collector from Purveyor of, Purveyor of Potions. Um, it says, don't worry about getting a bad reputation, which you get from Get Famous if you have it, because you're an infamous witch. So, yeah, no one, no one cares. Uh, lifespan is long. Money cheats are allowed. Um, there is a lot that she's recommended from, from the gallery, but the lot, I'll put all of this down in the description, but the lot that she recommends, it doesn't fit on any of the lots in Glimmerbrook. So there's that. When I placed it, there were no stairs in it and that made no sense. So I just went and put my own thing. I went and made a house. I mean, the downstairs is very nicely decorated, but then by the time we get upstairs, I kind of lost the will to live. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's not totally finished. I will finish it as I go along, but <laughs> I did get really tired. But downstairs looks really great. You see, this is why I'm not a builder. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, and then chapter one, the beginning, age, teenager, households, one to two parents, two to three siblings, set up, live anywhere, school is optional, this phase can be short, age up when the goals are complete. So chapter one, I need to have a bad relationship with all family members except one. I need to make friends with one sibling, but not BFF, get a significant other. Ask significant other to move in and you can use add to family using cheats. Optional, mer obtain mermadic kelp and give it to your significant other. You can find it using bb.showhiddenobjects. 
Control the significant other and have him flirt with someone else in front of your sim. Break up with the significant other. Start a fight with the one who your significant flirt who your significant other flirted with and become enemies so yeah there's not much i just have to just make enemies out of everybody <laughs> apart from one person so um so yeah this should be interesting i have never like i said i haven't really played through realm of magic so this is going to be a learning experience for both of us um yeah and there's three chapters and all three chapters are different ages. So obviously chapter one is a teen. Chapter two is young adult. And chapter three is adult. So yes, let's get on with it. I can always read through stuff as we get there. And as I said, I will um, I will li give a link to the um, challenge on the Under the Plum Bob podcast podcast yes well it's the podcast their website i'm so used to saying that now even though i should say under the plum bob.com and i'm rambling i'm really sorry <laughs> i'm just excited to play this so yeah let's get on with it first of all i want to make um carrie a spellcaster and i've also decided she's going to be best friends with her brother well not best friends but she's going to be friends with her brother um I don't know. I just like him. I think he's cool. So she's going to be friends with her brother. But everyone else she's going to argue with. So first of all, let's go to the portal. And I know the portal to get to Glimmerbrook is at the other other end of... Oh, you can't get... You can't see it from here. Because Glimmerbrook is quite boring. And there's not that many lots in it. Can you see it from here? You can't. No. I'm going to have to go to um, the travel menu in order to get there. So let's go. Let's go and become a spellcaster. And then we will come back and start picking fights with everybody. Okay, this is where we are. I did bulldoze the house that was there in order to put this one down. And we need to go to this empty lot. No one else is going. And then from this lot we can walk to the portal. Uh, where is it? No, not that way. There it is. Travel to the magic realm. I've heard that Glimmerbrook is very pretty in the winter. I probably should have started in the winter. But I've heard it's really pretty. I have I did do a really quick play with. I can't even say a playthrough because it wasn't a playthrough. But I did a quick play with, with um, Realm of Magic when it first came out. But I didn't really go into it with any kind of depth. So, um, so yeah, I don't really know what we're... I don't really know what to expect. Were those magic mushrooms? No, I don't want to go there. I kind of clicked when I shouldn't have clicked. And we are in the magic realm. Brilliant. Now we need to find... We need to find a spellcaster to become a mage. I do have in a mod that stops all the townies from being turned into spellcasters. Because I was finding that... um. When you go in, all of a sudden, everybody in the game is a spellcaster. So you'd have, like, Caleb Vittori, or one of the land grabs, or whoever. Okay. Ah, uh, friendly introduction. Who are you? Minerva Charm, but you're not a spellcaster. Alright, so yeah, these are all names that I don't... <laughs> I don't recognise, so that's good. At least we know the mod's working. There's Morgan. Uh, who's bored? Oh, he's bored. But you just have to get friendly with one of them. I think Morgan's the easiest to be friends with. Really? 
this yabba. Scoop it away. Look like quark. Some cool, cool. Sans. Love it, toy. Yeah. Okay. Does that make uh learning are you prepared are you sure you're prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. Okay, in order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. Okay. So the the moats are these glowing things. You have to collect seven. Alright, um one. Yeah, I shouldn't have really put it in um in first person view. Oh great. You want to use a toilet. But it was just that I couldn't get a good view. I wonder if they have magical fish in there. I'll have to see at some point. Alright, go and use the toilet. Yeah, go on. Toilet, maybe? Okay, so we have seven moats. Alright, collect seven moats and return them to any of the three sages. Yeah, this build, it has a lot of... Maybe I should just take the walls down. There you go. Didn't think... I usually don't play with the walls down. Oh, there's... There's Mr. Sweetwater. But anyway. Do you have to give it to the same mage that gave it to you? Or can you give it to a different mage? More choices. No. Okay. I guess we're going to have to give it back to Simeon. Um, turn in moats. Did you use the toilet? Yeah, you did. Because you sims are notorious for stopping halfway through something to, um, to turn round and say, look, I'm doing this. Durf <laughs> new. Carrie is now a spellcaster. You can view her spellbook by opening her perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. Alright, so either click on that or perks. Uh, needs? Oh, when you go to needs, spellcaster perks. Ah, so it's like vampires and stuff. So that's your perks. An open spellbook. And we have stuff we can we can practice magic. And you know what? I haven't even looked to see what purveyor of spells need to do. Okay, become a spellcaster, travel to the magic realm, and learn a potion recipe. Okay, can we go get like um, wands and stuff? Because you're not a spellcaster unless you have a wand. Where's that go to? That's Glimmerbrook. We don't want to go to Glimmerbrook. Where was that go to? Caster's Alley. That's where we need to go. What are you reading? We don't know. What are you doing? This dress is from Realm of Magic, I hasten to add. It's, I think they had two, they had a couple of different dresses, but that one was, I like that one, that one was the cutest. They've got one with a big old floppy bow that just looked weird. But you have to admit, ad admit the, the Magical Realm is very pretty. And you've got floating islands. I mean, who doesn't love a floating island? As long as you don't, you know, get off the fall off of it. But I wonder if there was some great big magical accident, which is why they have the floating islands. Ha. Yeah. 
What? Oh, was that from traveling through the portal? I wonder. Right, well, you can do your homework. Let me see. What do we have here? As uh, see, we got Eliza pancakes. As a ghost. Buy potion ingredients. Well, we don't know what we need for potions yet. And what's this one? Who do we have? Moira Fires, see? Well, I thought that's what... Okay, I'm not asking. Brooms and crystals. Do we want a broom? Do we want to fly around on a broom? I don't know. And what's this one? By ones, tomes and familiars. Okay. Let's go to that one. Who's that though? That's Alex Moyer. Yeah, for some reason it's taken my townies, but uh, at least I'm not seeing all the other townies wandering into the portal and becoming spellcasters. Okay, we have an ancient wood wand. Um, a bone wand. Slightly more robust. We have familiars, those little things that come behind you. Tome of Alluring Aura. Teaches the reader a, po a potion that makes those around the drinker more receptive to romantic conversation. Okay, do we need to buy the tomes though? And what rank is she anyway? Wand of Astral Creation. So, do the different wands have different... Or is it just they're better? Forged out of moonstones and imbued with astral vapours. That looks like... No. The bone wand? We could try the bone wand. Do we want a familiar? I don't know if we want a familiar yet. We've got a fairy. We've got a raven. We've got a sixsome owl. I don't know if we want a familiar. Let's just buy a wand. Did you buy it? Oh, yeah, you probably did. And, okay. Juan's Wonderful One Wand Warehouse. Check back tomorrow as our daily offerings are always changing. Okay. Um, and what was this again? Brooms and crystals. Let's, let's buy a broom. I guess. Classic one wood broom. Magic mop. No, thank you. Classic wood broom. Uh, I guess. What's this? Uh, temporary moat site. Okay. Brooms, baubles, and beyond. And this one is stuff to, for potions. Let's have a look and see what they have for potion ingredients. Angel fish, apple, dragon fruit, goldfish, furium, potion of perk purging, salmon. Okay. All right, well, that's good to know. All right, so how do we fly around on our really nifty beginner's broom? Uh, always use brooms. Um, favourite broom? What should we call it? I don't know what to call it. And have you walked off with somebody's book? That's fine. Uh, favourite wand. And always use wands. Why are you sleeping? Oh, you need to go home. Okay, and you have the glimmer stone. So, oh no. You can use it to travel to the magic realm. Or you can destroy it. We're not going to destroy it. All right, well, Carrie, you need to go home. What's wrong? You got a headache, you're tired, and you're you're hungry. Where'd she go? All right, well, 
you're hungry, at least go and get something to eat. Um, vegetable dumplings. Matt is always on the computer. Well, typical, typical, you know, teen, teen, young adult, I guess. And where is Yasmin? Is she sleeping? Did I give, did I make you? Where are you? Oh, she's about to go to bed. Okay. Could you make more of a mess? What's she do? Oh, vegetable dumplings. Is your brother to know he's not on the computer? Oh, he's gone to bed as well. Is he in the right bed? Yes, he is. I haven't decided if she's going to be an A student or not. I don't know what she's going to be. Alright, uh, pick up a serving. Don't go to bed. You're complaining you're hungry. Pick up a serving. Did you not pick up a serving? Eat vegetable dumplings. Does pick up a serving not mean eat it? Yeah, I wasn't sure about the house when I built it, but actually I like it. Because it's unusual with the, the, the kitchen in the middle. But I, I kind of like, I, I think I like it like that. So how I see the family, I see Audrey as very cold and aloof and materialistic. Caden, her husband, is more laid back and more accessible. Um, Yasmin is a little brat. And Matt is the cool one. And that's why Carrie likes Matt. Because, you know, he's the big brother that you can talk to. And, you know, he gives you really good advice, that kind of thing. So, we are going to start arguing with everybody at some point. I know the upstairs is very big and spacious. Is there no light on in the bath? No, oh, there's no lights in the bathroom. I didn't put lights in the bathroom. Never mind. It's not like Sims 2 where Sims get really freaked out if there's no lights. But yeah, like I said, when I was building it, I kind of lost the will to live after doing downstairs really nicely. And then it's like, oh, I've got to do the bedrooms as well. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I kind of run out of steam. But, you know, we've got the basics. We've got beds. We've got um, showers and stuff and so on. And I realise I'm going to have to plan out this challenge a little bit differently to how I usually do my challenges so um but at least it's short which is good okay school is optional so should we get you to be a student or I don't know well I think her I think she can still be a student it's just that she wants to be more so she's quite happy to learn how to be a witch and argue with everybody. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here while everyone's sleeping. Um, it's been a good start. We've become a 
a, 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 a spell caster and looking at what we need to do I think that as a teen we're not going to worry too much about her aspiration and learning spells and stuff so actually let's uh, never use brooms and never use wands yeah we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to worry on they're just going to get everybody we're going to make enemies and then once she's a young adult then we can because that's when you um that's when you start learning all the different stuff so i think we'll do that so yeah i'm going to leave it here so thanks very much for watching please don't forget go and visit under the plum plumbob.com um they have a brilliant podcast which i've mentioned before it's all about the sims and you know playing with our little virtual people and um yeah go give them a visit the girl the, the ladies there are absolutely hilarious and they bring out a podcast every wednesday and it's it's worth watching why are you using that bathroom there was one across the hall you had to pass it to go in i, I won't even ask i don't know so yeah so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye